Hey guys, what's up? It's Jacques 54 here, and uh, I just got finished watching the new Netflix original movie, The Do-Over, <coughs> and doing a movie review on it. <coughs> Sorry that my voice sounds really weird. <coughs> Again, I'm just getting over a cold, but um, yeah, so anyways, the movie's directed by Stephen Brill and stars Adam Sandler as Max, David Spade as Charlie, Paula Patton as Heather, and um, Catherine Hahn as Becca. Now, basically what this movie's about is um, Adam Sandler reunites with David Spade at their high school reunion because they were really close friends, but then they kind of stopped hanging out. And um, they're like hanging out after the high school reunion. And um, <clears throat> then um, after... But after they're after they're hanging out at the high school reunion, um, they decide to like go on a cruise, and <clears throat> um, Adam Sandler sees how pathetic David Spade's life is. Like uh, David Spade, like he 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 can't stand up for himself. Like his wife and her ex are way closer than you'd expect, um, and his kids are just at well, his stepkids are assholes to him, and. Um, <clears throat> You know, the thing is, the the scene with his kids, where they first showed his stepkids, that reminded me of another Adam Sandler film. Hmm. I don't know. But anyway. <clears throat> um, and then, like, uh, he has, like, a really pathetic job as a bank manager that's inside of a supermarket. And, like, um... But then, um, it all, like, then, um, Adam Sandler is, like, really successful, and he has a, um, and he, he's, like, an FBI agent, and then they decide to go on a cruise, and then, um, Adam Sandler, you know, sees how pathetic David Spade's life is, and he decides to fake their own deaths and completely start over with new identities, but the people that they're pretending to be, um, there's people out to get them, like, people out to kill them, because, uh, one of them uh, has the cure for cancer, and uh, these guys are trying to kill them over it. <clears throat> and uh, I'm not going to get too much into the plot, but um, yeah, so that's pretty much the plot of the do-over. It is a Netflix original movie. It's the second of four Adam Sandler films that are going to be produced by Netflix, with the first one being Ridiculous 6. Um, now, I have not seen The Ridiculous Six yet. I was going to last year, but... Because, you know, like, The Ridiculous Six just doesn't really pique my interest. It, like, it just seems like the theme with, like, cowboys and it being set in the 1700s, it doesn't really pique my interest, even though it's Adam Sandler, but I'll still watch it sometime and do a review of it. But, yeah, so basically, like... Uh, guys, I like Adam Sandler's movies. I don't think I've seen a movie of his that I haven't liked. Because, like, again, the only movie of his that I didn't like that much was, um... It was, uh, Happy Gilmore. But that was... But I was, like, nine or ten years old when I saw that, so I didn't get a lot of the jokes. So... Yeah, but, you know, if I, I bet if I saw it now, I'd think differently, but... Um... Yeah, so, like, what do I think of the do-over? Like, the thing is, a lot of people are saying that, like... Like, there's a lot of people, like, on Twitter and IMDb that like it, but it's not well-received by critics. It got, like, 17% on Rotten Tomatoes, and it wasn't even really well-received by users. But the thing is, I don't know how Adam Sandler gets past all this hate, like... Like, he knows that... It, it's almost like he knows people are going to hate his movies, but he still keeps doing them. I don't know how he gets past all this hate. Yeah, I'll, yeah I'll, you know, he's probably thinking, I make more money than all of you brainiacs put together ever will. And, um... <clears throat> but, uh, basically, what do I think of the do-over? Like, I did not expect to laugh this much at an Adam Sandler movie, because... You know, a lot of the time, like, because I like Adam Sandler's movies, and you know I laugh quite a bit, the do-over had me in stitches at some points. <laughs> like, in, in my honest opinion, it's the funniest Adam Sandler movie I've seen since That's My Boy, and That's My Boy is my favorite Adam Sandler movie. 
<clears throat> Mainly because That's My Boy is so different. Because I think the only other R-rated movie Adam Sandler has been in before That's My Boy was Funny People. And I think that was also directed by Stephen Brill, who directed the do-over. Hold on. I just noticed something on my Netflix. Hold on. Okay, that's a little weird. I was just looking on my Netflix. It's like I have it open. Hold on, let me show you. Uh, for some reason, this movie Pernicious is on my list. I didn't even add that. So I don't know what the hell happened there, but... Uh... No, wait, I actually think I did add that. Never mind. But, um... Yeah, so, in my honest opinion, like, like again, in my opinion, the do-over had me in stitches at some point. Um, and again, I thought it was the funniest Adam Sandler movie I've seen since That's My Boy. Again, mainly because it was so different. And as I said, as I was just saying, the only other R-rated movie I think Adam Sandler's been in was Funny People. And that was also directed by the same guy that directed the do-over. Um... So, like, I I know a lot of people really didn't like the do-over, and, like, I still don't get what it is about Adam Sandler that just makes people despise him. It seems like after Jack and Jill, they're just like, oh, he can't make a good movie anymore, screw him. Because there, it seems like people are just really biased after Jack and Jill, and they're just like, okay, one of his movies made, left a bad taste in my mouth, yeah, I'm gonna hate the rest of his movies now. It's just that a lot of people are just really biased, and they just hate all of his movies now, it seems. But, again, I thought The Do-Over was very, very funny. I laughed way more than I thought I would. Um, the thing is, I did not expect this movie to be that dirty. Like, there's a lot more sexual stuff than you would think. Like, because I saw the trailer, and I thought it was PG-13. No, like, this would be, like, an R-rated movie. Like, I did not expect The Do-Over to be this dirty. Like, there is so many dirty jokes, and uh, I have to say, probably, there's two scenes that really had me in stitches. One, when David Spade is, uh, is after, excuse me, is uh, after they fake their deaths, and when David Spade goes back to his house and opens the door to his ex's room, that had me in stitches. Um, also, the scene where, also the flare gun scene had me laughing pretty hard, but another scene that really had me in stitches was... I'm just going to say it involves a shooter boy and air conditioning. That's all I'm going to say because I really don't want to ruin it. Um, yeah, th so all in all, like I thought the do-over was hilarious. Again, it is the funniest Adam Sandler movie I have seen since That's My Boy. And it, it, like I, I liked the character performances. Like David Spade kind of pulls off like the pussy character really well. Um like, I like the performances, um, oh, and also, uh, Adam Sandler's kids actually have an appearance in this movie, uh, if you notice, uh, when Adam Sandler's buying the tools in this movie, uh, they play, his daughters play, um, the, uh, cashier's kids, and also his wife is in this movie, apparently, but I didn't see her, it says she's in it, but I didn't see her, but, um, yeah, so honestly, guys, I thought The Do-Over was actually a very funny Adam Sandler movie. And I know I'm going to get some hate for this, but I'm going to give The Do-Over an A. I know that's going to be really hard to believe coming from pretty much anyone, but you guys, even the most hated movies will have quite a bit of people loving them. And I know, like, because guys, I am a huge Adam Sandler fan, so it's no surprise why I like this. So... Like, so, you know, like, you know, disagree with my opinion all you want. It's just what I think. You know, I'm giving the do-over an A. I think it was a very, very funny. It had me in stitches. My only complaint is that I didn't really like the third act because it got a little, okay, a little, okay, pretty serious. It got pretty serious. And I didn't really like the serious overtones in like near the near the end of the third act because i just thought that was really really sad like like i like okay i'm not gonna spoil anything it's just it got like pretty sad near the near the beginning of the third act so i'm not gonna get too into it but again i'm giving the do-over an a i would recommend this to you if you like adam sandler's movies um 
And, you know, like, I think if maybe if you liked That's My Boy, I think you'll like this. Um, it wasn't direct, as I said, that's my, it wasn't directed by the same guy that directed, uh, That's My Boy. Um, it was directed by the same guy that did Funny People, which was with, uh, Adam Sandler and, uh, Seth Rogen and Leslie Mann. But, uh, yeah, anyway, guys, uh, that's my review of The Do-Over. Um, subscribe for more content, and remember, you guys, whenever faking your own deaths, say no to drugs.